Hi guys, you're back with Coach Marissa from Ultimate MMA Plus. So I'm going to show you guys four exercises that you can do from the high plank position. Okay, so your arms are going to be locked out and your core is still nice and tight and engaged. Your upper body is engaged, but we're going to let the rest of your body move a little bit. Okay, so high plank, your hands are going to be right underneath your shoulders. You're on your toes here. This is number one. Okay, we should be able to hold this position um, if you are newer and that's even hard in itself. Just practice working on that high plank hold. Okay, but for everybody else, I want to show you guys four things you can do moving while comfortable in this area. Okay, so high plank. You're going to keep your leg nice and stiff. I'm going to flex my foot so that I can tighten up my hamstring and my glutes as I lift up. So core nice and tight. Everything should, else should be nice and controlled. Nothing else should be moving. Looking down, raising one leg up at a time. Okay, for these exercises, you can do between one to four sets of them. We're going to try for 20 repetitions of everything. So again, like I said, you have to be comfortable holding yourself in that high plank position first off of any to then work into doing uh, further progressions. So high plank, our first one's that leg extension. So foot is flexed so that I can nice and tightly tighten up that hamstring glute to lift up that leg nice and stiff. Nice and controlled to one, two, three, okay? We're going to do a total of 20. You'll come down, take about 15 to 30 seconds in between each one. You guys can go at your own pace, okay? The next one is going to be shoulder taps, okay? If you need 30 seconds in between each exercise, that's fine because you are going to be using your upper body a lot just to hold yourself there. So next one is shoulder taps. So feet are spread out so that when I lift up my hands and my shoulder, my hips are rocking as little as possible. I don't want big movement. I don't want to show my body to the side. I want my hips in line and facing the ground as much as possible the whole time. So I'm going to do 20 shoulder taps to bring my hand to my shoulder. Foot core is nice and tight. They're not, they're not big. They're not quick. Okay? Everything is nice, slow, and controlled. Okay? So high plank, spread those feet out, hand to your shoulder without moving those hips as much as possible. So core nice and tight. And we're going to go for 20 of those. The next one, again, we can give ourselves 30 seconds, rest in between 15, 30 seconds, whatever we need. If we feel we can kind of go straight through with minimal rest, okay, we can rest after we're done with this set. Next one is high plank. I'm going to step my feet, two out, two in. Each time I step out, I want my other side foot to lead me. So step out, out, in, in, out, out, in, in. Every time I step out, that's what I count. So out, out, in, in, that's one. Then my other foot steps me out. Out, out, in, in, that's two. So this one's definitely nice, slow, and controlled. Out, out, in, in, okay? We can take that 30 second rest, 15, 30 second rest with those arms in between. And then the last one, we're going mountain climbers. So these can be quicker, they can be slower. If you slow it down, obviously you're gonna use that upper body a little bit more. But same deal, high plank. You're gonna bring your knee to your chest, each one counts. So one, two, three. So normally you'll see these done quickly, but if I do it nice and controlled, it's still gonna be beneficial. Or I can go one, two, three, four, five, a little bit quicker, again, total of 20. So once we go through those four exercises, that's one set, okay? Again, you can do between one to four sets. You're, doing tw you're aiming for 20 repetitions each side. If you guys are, are in total, utilizing both sides. You guys are a little bit newer and you need to lower your repetitions a little bit just to get through it, that's fine. Maybe you do 20, or excuse me, 10 instead of 20, that's perfectly fine, okay? But if we can, we're doing between one to four sets, 20 repetitions. So from the top, high plank, core is nice and tight, leg is stiff, lift from your hamstring and your glutes. We're doing 20 leg extensions, each one counts just like this, nice and controlled. Come down for a moment, shake those arms out if you need to, so you're in 15 to 30 seconds. Then back up, high plank, spread your feet out. Bring your hand to your shoulder, limiting that hip rock. Hand to your shoulder, nice and controlled. After that, again, get that little break if you need it. High plank, and now you're stepping out, out, in, in. So core is nice and tight. Hips are in line with your back, so you're not up in the air. Out, out, in, in. Nice and controlled. Come down, shake it out, 15, 30 seconds, whatever you guys need in between. And then our mountain climbers, as slow 
or as fast as we want to go. Okay, 20 of everything if we can. Again, if we are newer, set yourself realistic goals. You do not have to go crazy. You can do 10 of everything. So if you're doing a leg, leg extension, that's five each side. Good to start anywhere. Okay, so start where, with what you can do, and then you can work it up to 20 repetitions. It's definitely going to require some effort because everything's coming from that high plank position. So you're using your upper body the whole time. That's why in between each exercise, you can have 15, 30 seconds, a um, little bit of rest to then switch to the next one. So take those arms out if needed. So you have your alternating legs from high plank. You have your shoulder taps from high plank. Just spread those feet out. You have your stepping two in, two out. Make sure each time you use the other side foot from high plank. And then the last one is your mountain climbers. So bring those knees to your chest as slower, as fast as you guys want to go. If you guys like this video, definitely give me a thumbs up so I know. If you have any questions, you can leave me a comment or anything else you want to see. If you guys never want to miss another workout, definitely subscribe to our channel, Ultimate MMA Plus.